I swear, if this is still Halloween, dude. <laughs> if I hear the Halloween theme song. <laughs> Okay, I'm not here to meme TDS, but um, I'm actually here for Zombie Madness. Yeah, uh, they actually give credit to the original insp inspiration. Wow, thank you guys. That's a bold move. Yeah, but I have been spying my eye on this game, and it has and it had like a thousand players last night. There's a couple of badges here already, so it must be good if it has uh, uh, way 13 badge. This is what you first see when you join the game. Uh, this kind of looks like crap up here, but this isn't pre-alpha, so give it a break. And uh, the shop looks really cool. Watch. That's super cool. I've never seen a game do that before. And these are all the towers they got so far. Uh, I bought them all. And these are actually a lot of towers just for the game barely being released. So that is really cool. And there's also these top players uh, that have no hobbies whatsoever. So that's really cool. And if we go to the play thing, it looks so more related to Tyrells than it does of TDS. They have a good amount of maps in this game. I want to choose Egg Hunt 2013. That sounds cool. Okay, first thing I want to do is play Minecraft. So I want to put this guy over here. Boom. He's playing Minecraft now. Upgrade him. Boom. He's now mining iron ore. So... Cool. Oh, ignore this GUI right here. That's for me because I have like admin. I, I can find myself a lot of cash, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I want to play legit, okay? Okay, I want to put him in my wing shooter right here. He did have googly eyes, but they removed that because that looks really stupid. Now it's just a blank face, which I'm pretty sure is more so inspired off of tower balls, it looks like. And this is like a sniper tower type of thing. He has a lot of range as well, so that's pretty cool. Just look at that juicy detail and these animations. They're not that bad either, man. Look at these auto. He's breathing. My man is breathing. Oh, he is shooting. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, I got I got a vandalist, which is some machine gun guy, and his drip looks pretty cool he is wearing a classic fedora that drip is worth like 60,000 robux i think i grant him boom he now got a green drip Ooh -hoo. and he got a little pocket Ooh -hoo -hoo. he got swag i said swag on a rock with another cool thing about this game is that you can use your keep on as well like one two three if i press uh five i get the wing sharpshooter and i can place him down and you can also press Q to upgrade them or E to sell them. So really cool. You don't need to click on that. I like that a lot. It, 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 it helps a lot when you need to do something precisely at this exact moment. This will help you out a lot by doing so. Really cool stuff. We're at our first boss type of thing, the safeguard. He has some green glowing chain and like a bit of a glowing green thing as well. By the way, the owner of this game, I think, is... Zavita, and we played some TDS games back then. I think he was an admin for TDS, but he quit, and now he made his own game, which is this, and that is really cool. This is the video we collabed on, by the way. Uh, lots of views on on that on that video. Okay, enough I enough pep talk. Time for the taste test, and I have a shocker. What? What can I place right there? What? That's done. But I have a shocker right here, which is the phaser of this game i guess watch it's gonna like melt this guy oh just a micro zap okay i guess i guess level one isn't that strong compared to max max is really cool looking you know the animation on this guy doesn't look too bad and i really like the zappy effect it got as well and i did upgrade a bit to have a bit more drip so that'd be swag all right here's a boss thing Oh, I think it died. Whoa, Spyra! Whoa, that's L-I-T, short for lit, dude. Wow! Bro, that was lit. It spawned in another day. Oh, and this tower doesn't just, like, focus on one, one tower. It can, like, melt a bunch of noobs down. So that's really cool. It doesn't just lock on to one strongman and then sucks because some small guy walked in front of it. Uh, there is targeting, but you can't do anything to change that. Uh, I just upgraded the sniper and now it flies. I you okay? The animation for it looks really cool, but it's also really stupid because why would a sniper guy fly? That's 
that's that's really stupid. I don't like you could have made the submachine gun guy fly. That would have made more sense than a sniper who needs to be standing still for maximum precision, dude. This is this is stupid. Okay, time to maximum upgrade this guy and elect. Light. I shall annihilate anyone that crosses my path. Okay, that was pretty cringe. So this guy has a voice line, I think, when you maximum upgrade him, but not only was it bad sounding, but uh the tower was cringe already. They just made it even more cringe. Uh we're kind of struggling. I'm like being desperate right now, just like spamming stuff at the bottom, even though I shouldn't be doing that. But I am getting desperate, guys. I I, I am not gonna lie. This is this guy. This guy actually might might pass through. This guy actually might pass through. No. Oh, no. No. Okay, I was a bit more smart with my money, and I got me some diamond miners right here, and I also have shock level four. Horsey! Oh crap, it's spawning a lot more. Yeah, we got we got horses now and things are getting things are getting pretty spicy now. Uh these are called Trojans, which is based on that one Trojan horse thing, I think. Oh, I gotta spawn in so much more stuff. I have been slacking. Oh god, no, I'm gonna die again. No! No, I can't die again. Please. Please, okay, there we go. There we go. We are safe and sound now. I placed on my juggernaut base and now I can buy like a bunch of troops. This is actually really cool how it works. You, so you do have to purchase the troops again to like spawn out of it, but it's not based on per wave thing and there is a large cooldown. And uh, you just send out a bunch of troops and they have riot shields and they are armed with a deagle it looks like. So that is really cool that this is how it works although it probably should be cheaper something as well I just spent like uh, ten thousand dollars there and they all just got wiped down pretty fast by the by the bullies it's gonna save us a lot is that mega turd the the Omega beams the Omega beams but uh we are struggling just a tad bit here uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff they have more Trojan things my juggernaut guy glitched out Critical error detected. No, the boss guy's coming. Woohoo! Spooky! <laughs> spooky! I think now it's gonna be the last wave. I think so, because it's like critical error or something like that. Or it's about to occur soon, it looks like. Upgrade this guy and boom. Yeah, we pretty much all got all our stuff maxed. It's just a matter of please don't kill me. I should really sell these miners because I think these guys are becoming useless at this point. Uh, put out. Oh, three shot. Okay, now. Okay, now we have heavy encryption things. We're like big guys with 24,000 health. Nice, dude. I pretty much replaced every single vandalist as those guys are getting useless. I have a bunch of flying guys. And we have three maxed out shockers. So I think we. Should be okay for the most part. I can't really spawn much more in. I can only just buy these guys and then hope for the best from there. Can we take a moment to appreciate this guy named Colonel? He is really struggling to walk out here. Props for him, dude. They now have even more health. They have 36,000 health. They already as tough in the top right right there. Oh, yeah, this is the last wave. He said intruder alert. Look at the mainframe guy. Look at this guy. Can we just respect the view of this, man? Can we really disrespect the view? Look at these particle effects. Look how I let me go out of here. Look at these. Look at those little particle beam things going to his back. And I don't know what that. It's like a. Or what's going on in his back? Like horns or something. And all my towers are just struggling to kill the ones in the front. This is so. Yeah, this is the last one. It has really cool music, but I pretty sure it's copyrighted, so I did have to mute that so I wouldn't get uh, no ads or something like that. My guy is really on the platform itself. What a brave soul, man. Here, let me help him out by sending him some friends. Nice home. Can I not spawn this in? There we go. Yeah, and his, and his little flashy orbs can see, like, stuns the towers, and that actually looks really cool, like the stun tower effect. That's not a bad job at all. I think this guy is gonna get pretty much wiped out though. He's he's getting beamed, dude. 
Take a moment to respect the boys right here with their crappy pit, uh, crappy pistols. Only one survives, and I'm pretty sure that's a bug. I don't think he's supposed to survive like that. Always with 150 health. There was more down here, but they all despawn, I guess, because he walked into the, the spot where these guys spawn at. But yeah, this guy is about to die pretty soon. He has ran away from the range of this one, but we still have two of these working on him. Still on that grind, trying to trying to beam this kid. And... <laughs> Dies. Look at that. Look at... Man, that death animation is actually really cool. The way he just freezes and turns red. That's actually really cool. And now we got a victory. I beat the mainframe. Awesome, dude. We are winners. As always, guys, link in pin comment. You guys should really try this game out. Uh, it is support for mobile, but uh, I don't think he has like major plans to like make it perfect. But it does work, I think.